Welcome all. In this video, we are going to talk about the history of Indian political system, the history of Indian politics. Rather, we 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 see newspapers daily. We we see news channels daily. We we know that we have an Indian Parliament. We have Council of Ministers. We have Member of Parliaments. They all talk. They all debate inside the Parliament to formulate policies. they formulate policies for our country so that it can progress further every year a prime minister of india our prime minister of india delivers speech from the red fort from the red fort on the eve of independence day on the eve of independence day every year it is on 15th of august in india and tell the citizens of india that what we have done in the past that is in one year or in the past itself or what are we are what we are going to do in future that's whatever policies that they had made that they, they used to disclose that everybody knows that but was it always like this that we have we used to have parliament or we used to have mps or we used to make policies like this or all these things no it was never like this we used to have a different time altogether we used to have different policy makers rather uh, let's let's go to the more not not to a great far era but still somewhere around 1600 somewhere around 1600 ad's it's it's quite an easy thing the 17th century also we can call it as 17th century 17th century in those times we never used to have parliaments but we used to have all these kinds of rajas or maharajas or sultans or oh, you you may call them emperors like akbar birbal i'm sorry akbar or tipu sultan or or uh, you you can name them any ah uh, and they used to like live, live in such kind of beautiful palaces too this one is uh, the palace of mysore this is palace of Amir in Rajasthan we used to live in all these things in 1680 somewhere so that means we can we can say in india we we never had a central authority there was no central authority as such there was no central raj authority there were no central authority it was not there and rather we had different maharajas we have different policy holders or kings who used to make or formulate policies in those particular times in europe in the europe that is is the map of europe in front of you it is europe of 1600 some somewhere 1640s or similar to 17th century you can say that at the same time in india where we had rajas and different kind of things used to happen in those days in europe it was renaissance which was about to end Re renaissance renaissance uh, renaissance renaissance which was which was about to end which started in somewhere in 14th century till 17th century and the industrial revolution the industrial the industrial revolution was about to start you can see the industrial revolution it was about to start so we were somewhere in between those times so what was happening here it renaissance was about to end and industrial revolution was started so the people what we know from industrial revolution is that people or rather traders or merchants traders or merchants they were exploring the land they they wanted resources they wanted resources so that they can produce more things they wanted they they wanted raw material they wanted raw material so they trying so they tried to explore new areas in the world they they went to several countries like america they went to africa they went to africa also they came to india and 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 the whole globe they they traveled the whole globe at this particular time this is east india company the famous east india company the east india company many of you people might have heard about it it's a very famous 
countries of those times so and this lady this lady in orange the beautiful lady she's queen the queen elizabeth the queen elizabeth one the queen elizabeth one she was she was the dictator rather she was rather the monarch of britain the monarch the queen of queen of britain and in those times europe was quite powerful it was they were quite powerful uh, and they had a strong hold over the globe so what happened east india company they were basically as they said the company they were traders they were traders and as we said earlier it was it was industrial revolution which was going on and so east india company took permission took permission from the queen that they want to sail they want to sail out of out of europe out of europe to explore more and more to explore more and more and as the name suggests or rather as they gave the name east india the east india they wanted the eastern part of europe the eastern part the eastern part of europe eastern part of europe they wanted to explore this thing because in in other part they had some western traders there so what happened the queen granted a charter the queen granted a charter to east india company a charter is kind of a law or kind of uh, a permission to east india company so that they can go to india they can go to india and do trade do trade and this charter was exclusive it was exclusive it was exclusive provided only to east india company it was called as the royal charter it was called as the royal charter as the name suggests royal from from the queen by the queen so what happened in those days if you see this map there's a time of a 1500 1600 somewhere it this was this was the map of india in those days we we had we had the northern india we have more of rajputs were there or moguls were there they they had the strong hold here and then the marathas they had the marathas in the south so what was happening actually the east india trader company they came to india they all traveled from europe from europe to india they all traveled and then they met the local kings they met the local kings they met the local kings in these photographs you can see all these local kings are there so these are kings and the the courts the royal courts the royal courts of indian kings there royal courts of indian kings so what they did all these east india company we we can call it for call the eic east india company for short so what these eic people did they met all these kings they gave them pleasantries they gave them very good pleasantries they gave them pleasantries they gave them gifts and several several good things from europe several good things of europe to all these people and they acquired they acquired the trade rights the trade rights trade rights you, you can you can easily imagine that it was not possible it was not possible for these east india company people to come into india and they do they can do trade no it was not possible because though they they were having small areas or small districts in their possession but even coming a foreigner cannot come inside anyone's territory not in india not in any other place not not in the history and not in the future not possible so they wanted to take permissions from these kings so they 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 tried to please them by gifts or some other things and they acquired the trade rights time went on they were actually traders we can easily see that they were traders and the basic thing for traders is profit they only wanted profit they, they they saw in the meanwhile while while they were working it was somewhere the era was 1600 it was we were moving up, we are moving from 1600 ad to the present area so what they did 
what, what they saw was India was full of raw material India was full of raw material raw material and rather we had human resource too we had human resource human resource that is cheap labor we had cheap labor with us we had cheap labor with us because we had so many peasants they were quite poor and now when the East India Company saw that the peasants are poor uh, we have a lot of raw material availability the Nawabs are distributed everywhere and rather there are so many so the greed factor the greed factor overpowered them the greed factor overpowered them and they thought why not why shouldn't we convert India why shouldn't we convert India into a colony into a colony I'll explain you the meaning of colony in the next video I'm just running out of time at present so meet you in the next video take care